everyone, this is Jennifer with DP Addiction Adventures, and oh my gosh, you haven't heard from me in quite some time, aka maybe a week or so. It has been crazy, but check out the WIP that's coming up. WIP stands for Work in Progress, as I am going to give you updates on what's been going on. Um, that will be coming up hopefully tomorrow. Um, it'll be released. Um, but I'll be videoing it right after this because there's so much going on in my head, people. But until then, I wanted to show you. <gasps> so I have not really been purchasing anything because I'm doing the hashtag uh, slash the stash 2020. Um, but when I saw this, I was like, ah, I have got to do it because you know what? Um, this person is an expert at upselling and um, just kind of getting us all on board. And anything that's a collector's item, in theory, I have to jump on it. So, do 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 do. Here we go. I'm gonna be opening it, and I'm super excited about this now. Also, this person is our sponsor for the February's Diamond Painter of the Month. So make sure you get your um, nominations in. Down below is the link to that. And make sure you get those in because January 31st at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is the... Um, and so this person sends in a little note. They send in the package. This person also always gives a little bit of sparkle. Love that hot air balloon. Thank you so much. And look at this. Okay. It's Patty Wax. Yes, I know. Everybody is either jumping up and down or rolling their eyes. However, because this was like a hot commodity, I had to jump on the bandwagon. And she says, thank you for being a loyal Patty Wax customer. You rock and I appreciate you. Please keep coming back for more scents, colors, and innovative storage solutions. Basically to look pretty because you truly need, Patty Wax truly needs no special storage. If you get to time, I'd love to know what you think. Feedback makes my products better. Enjoy your wax and have fun diamond painting. So this is Robin with Patty Wax. So she does amazing and puts a little sticker here. She's really getting into the brand, <coughs> excuse me, the branding. Please go check her out. I'll have the links down below as well. Now, she posted on Instagram that this was up and coming. There was only going to be a couple of them. And I was like, dang it, you used the words only a couple. So I stalked her. I actually messaged her through Instagram and said that she was had a great marketing ploy. And I was now stalking her Etsy store. So she is on Instagram and then she sells through Etsy. I was trying not to cut the bag. All right. So you guys ready? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at that. Bigfoot. So this was basically, I am guessing because hardly any of us can capture the tins that she has started to put together. And so I think it's really funny that she created a sticker of the elusive tin container. Now for Patty Wax, you do not need a tin, but come on guys, how fun is it having these? It has all the sparkles on the side. Um, these, you know, it looks, they're smaller than our drills, but hey, it's all right. Okay, so I'm gonna open it up. <gasps> look, she does an amazing job of making these beautiful, look, she, these tins are so worth it. This one was uh, $13.50, and in it, you get the 10. You get a cover minder. Look at how adorable that is. Um, ooh, this time she sent a little piece of candy. She puts in a washi tape. 
she puts in a sample. This one's called First Snow. Oh, I like this, Robin, how you don't have to put it in the little thing anymore. Awesome. And these little samples let you know if you like this or not, and she uses small little fun molds. Then you get the patty wax itself, as it's a smaller brick than um, if you just bought it separate. And then she always adds like fun stickers. So this says bubble gum. These are the little um, macaroons we love. And then this is grape. I can already smell it. Mmm, guys, smell a vision. Can you smell it? <laughs> It smells creepy. So I think this is a fantastic deal. Um, also, I love this is like the little cargo. And if you have, let me see. Just a second. If you're a pen collector like me and you have a mini, look, this mini fits in here. And then your cover minder can fit in here. And then, um, let's see if the washi tape will fit in. Look at that. You've got like this amazing little travel kit that you can dine and paint anywhere because you got your wax, your pen. Now the only thing that's not in here is a tray. Um, but then like if you have a tray, like from Archer's Arts, look at that. Now you're ready to go. And if you had a lid, now I don't have big lids. I only have um, the small lids. But then if you had a lid for your Archer's Arts tray, you could put that on, and then you've got your little to-go, and you're ready to diamond paint, right? So that's just my little, came up with it right now, um, but you've got your everything that you need in here um, for diamond painting. So how amazing is that? And I'm super excited that I had, I stalked her Etsy site and the instant I clicked on it before I could even finish paying um it was sold out so it was like thank the lord it earmarks it for you when you click on it to pay because by the time I was done paying with PayPal it was already sold out and that was like a total of 60 seconds so definitely Robin you're doing something right um I hope in future videos that I can help as I'm still exploring the world of patty wax. I can see, I still go back and forth um, between the two, but I do know um, that I love where the diamond painting community is going and seeing the concept of a product and taking it to the next level. So storage containers, trays, pens, and now we're even looking at the wax. You guys are amazing. Um, you know, I know people are looking at sealing agents for when we're done. So keep exploring, keep dreaming, and I can't wait to see what you guys come up with next. If you need a tester, I'm here, people. I can keep a secret. I tell the truth. And um, I, like I said, patty wax, I'm still trying to figure it out. I do like the concept of stick it in your bra or warm it up that way to a body heat because my craft room is in a cooler area. So room temperature um, concept didn't do it for me and I was really struggling but then once I started warming it up more um, not melting but warming it up more to body temperature rather than room temperature um, the wax started working a lot better for me so I'm still figuring it out um, I'm still going to be working on it I can't wait to see where this takes me but I also love the fact that we're adding, we can add scents to the wax because then it's a, like you're touching it, you're hearing the clicking, you're seeing it, now you're smelling it. You know, um, let's not taste it. Let's not have like edible drills <laughs> quite yet, but maybe make yourself some popcorn or some coffee or your favorite drink to kind of add that taste element for the full five senses. Um, but that's where that therapy comes in to help ground us. Guys, that's why this is so amazing as a craft because it incorporates all five senses, um, believe it or not. And therapeutically, something scientific is going on in your mind and the chemicals and the peace that it brings and just the tranquility of bringing us back to that homeostasis, that same that level that we're supposed to be after just like a really stressful day or really grieving a loss of a loved one or struggling with pain, chronic pain, anything that you're experiencing, that's why this helps. So yeah, 
this is what I, I'm talking like crazy because I haven't talked to you guys in forever. And so I just, I can't wait. I need to go record more videos. Check them out. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. I love you all and I can't wait to see you on the next video. Until then, take care. Be blessed. Bye-bye.